Hello, my name is Tatjana Dennis. I'm here today on behalf of John Paul Mitchell Systems, the View Systems Group. This is my beautiful model, Brianna. And today we're gonna to go over a highlighting technique that I use frequently in the salon when I have those guests that show up for their haircut appointment, asking if I can just give them a few highlights in between. Um, this is a modification from our dimensional foiling techniques that are in um, our blonding category. And uh, I went ahead and sectioned her off for you. So in this, we're gonna take a center part, straight down the middle of the head, back to the bottom of the crown. I then took a section going from behind the ear all the way across to the other side of the head behind the ear also uh, to make a divide. Then this front section, I went from the natural recess in the hairline straight back to that line and parted it off and did it into a Zulu knot to section it away. So we have our two front sections through the back. I continued that center part and then taking diagonal back section, I went down to the bottom crown connecting um, the front section to the bottom of the center part, creating little triangles that it will be our back area. This uh, can be brought down up or down depending on the fall of the hair. So we're looking for really just a top quick highlight to add some brightness to our hair. But if we wanted to go further down and make sure that it covers that depending on the shape of the haircut, um, you can move this line as you see fit for your haircut and your guest. So there we have her all parted off. We'll go ahead and mix up and get started. All right, so I went ahead and mixed up. Today I chose to utilize the uh, Paul Mitchell Synchro Lift Lightener. It's got a really nice creamy consistency due to its potato starch base. It's also extremely gentle um, and will help with the integrity of our guest hair. Gently lifts up to seven levels. So it's really nice choice, especially for those guests who are sensitive to fragrances um, because it has zero fragrance. I like the consistency because it sticks really well to the foil, which helps in our foiling technique. So I went ahead and released this back left um, dime, or triangle and I dropped down a thin section. So you want to make sure you take nice thin sections so that you don't end up with um, little holidays where it didn't get all the way through the section because your sectioning was too large. So I'm going to take my first foil. This is a really nice quick technique because it allows you to slice most of the sections um, to get a nice panel of color so you get a lot of bang for your buck. So we're going to go ahead and apply, making sure we're utilizing plenty of product and thoroughly saturate the section. We're going to fold it up, little fold to lock. So my guest is looking for a more natural foil placement. So we're going to actually take larger sections further back. So my gap in between my uh, foils is a little larger back here. And then when we start in the front, we'll take them a little bit tighter and move them back to give her more of a natural look of lightness around the face, getting slightly darker through, through the back. That will also help blend uh, the fact that the underneath portion is not highlighted. All right. So these back sections are really nice and petite. So as you see, they go rather quickly, which is nice. Now that we've gotten a little bit closer to this very top part, we're going to want to switch over and start weaving these sections. So we're just going to bounce you know, a relatively fine weave, about five, 
in this little section. I know it doesn't look like much hair, but it's the details that really make the color lay properly. I'm going to get right up to the edge of the blouse. Lock it. I like to fold my corners into the shape of my section that I'm working with, and that helps keep my sections around it really nice and clean so I can reach them easily when I get to those sections. The last one is a really tiny little one, so we'll do about three, three little bounces there. You want to make sure that you're keeping your uh, weave really consistent, and that will help. Uh, with the overall lick and make sure it looks it flows well. We're going to leave this top little section out and drop down our next back section. For her sectioning, I'm using my Paul Mitchell Pro Sticks. I love these. I have a ton of them. I use them for sectioning off, especially really thick, long hair, um, where you would normally take, you know, three or more clips in order to be able to pull it up and keep it off of their back. It's always falling out of the clips. These are amazing for that. They can hold up large amounts of hair with only one pro stick and that is very useful. It's also great for sectioning off, for uh, highlighting and coloring. Um, I use them a lot. They're coated with microband, so they clean and sanitize extremely easily uh, to help ease your cleanup and maximize your time. good and saturated. I'm crossing and slightly rolling the hair sections over to make sure that it's th thoroughly saturated, including the underside, which is a place that tends to get forgotten in some instances. All right, so I'm at the top two sections, so I'm going to go back to weaving. One, two, three, four, five. Keeping in line with the other side to maintain balance. One foil should be sufficient. So I'll put that one back. It's summertime, but for some reason, the sun has not decided to grace us with its presence. So we're just going to add a little bit of sunshine to bring in his hair in the form of highlights. I'll make it feel brighter. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's my sunshine? All right. Three bounces on that top one. Leaving a little triangle out at the very top. Folding. These ones are especially important to remember to lock. I lock most of my foils. Uh, in techniques like this just because it helps maintain the tension on the foil and it won't slip and give you little holidays as you're working because if your guest needs to get up and use the restroom or get a drink of water um, you want to make sure that those foils stay in place all right so now go ahead and move to this front section so in our front section we are going to actually drop down the section and pull it down towards our guest face. We will take um, diagonal sections going this way. As I said before, we're gonna start out a little tighter um, with our foil placement to give her a little bit more heavy 
um, lightning around the face and make her feel really bright. And then we'll gradually move back to our placement in the back uh, with that spacing. So I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and turn your head this way a little. Perfect. You wanna come over here? So we've gone ahead and parted off her front section. I dropped down a thin layer for my first section and brought back the rest of it. We're going to weave this part so that we don't end up with any stark lines that don't blend well around her face. Up a little, my dear. Perfect. Thank you. Stick it to the foil there. Feather into that top right at the scalp. I want to make sure that I get it all the way up to the hairline, but I don't want it to be a stark line right there. So I went ahead and used the corner of my tinting brush to kind of feather that in there to make a little softer line. So, and I'll go ahead and weave this one as well. Just because it's still really close to her hairline. Pat it down, make sure there's no air bubbles in there. So I applied to the midsection of the hair first. So there's only a slight amount of lightener on my brush when I go in to do that feathering and that will ensure that you don't over apply to that section and end up kind of squishing it out because you've applied too much product right there at the uh, foil line. The other thing that's fantastic about Synchrolift is that it does not swell and I love that about it because um, I've seen so many little holidays happen when lightener is used that swells and this stays nice and uh, creamy in consistency so that you don't end up with any unforeseen mm -hmm. issues. All right, so we've gotten a little ways away from her hairline. So this will be my last section of weave like that. Make sure we get all those little hairs in, rolling them to make sure they're thoroughly saturated. Hold up, lock, and set this. Perfect. So now we'll go ahead and switch over to slicing. Our sections are getting just a hair bigger. I guess our sections aren't getting bigger, but our placement of our foils is getting further apart. Brianna has this beautiful, all natural virgin hair that will lift gorgeously with this product and can't wait to see her end result. Now that we're getting towards the top of our section, we'll end up with a corner like before. Uh, we're gonna start switching over to weaving again. Ensure that we don't get any lines. You see, I'm folding my foils in my 
shape of my section. That way when I go to use, uh, go to work in the adjoining section, I don't have any overlapping that can cause problems with my foil placement or slow me down. We got our bounce in there. My foil is super friendly today and it keeps wanting to take a partner with it. Feather in up to the foil wire. These are the ones, like I said previously, you want to really make sure and lock these ones. Nice and secure. Little tiny baby section. One, two, three. First one, don't forget to leave these ones. I'm sure your guest is good. How are you doing? Are you comfortable down there? Yeah. All right. I place my hand underneath the foil because painting directly onto your guest's face with color can feel slightly unnerving for them. It's a little cold and wet feeling. Um, and we want our guests to be as comfortable as possible. So our hand is a very good tool to make a nice surface for you to paint on. All right. Can you have it all this side? Perfect, thank you. So closer together in the very front. into our hairline. Boop, 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 boop. Right. Now I'll start spacing out a little bit more. And adding in some slices. So you saw there that my line wasn't completely straight. I had a little weird zigzag in it, so I went ahead and gone, went through and cleaned that up. Your nice clean sections are incredibly important in foiling. Uh, our foils are square or rectangular, so you want to make sure you have nice straight lines so that you can get nice even uh, application all the way across the foil. If our foil, if our section had a little zigzag here, then we'd have a little point right there, and once we rinse that out, you would have um, a section that wasn't highlighted right there at the root end. That can be a little irritating, and it takes away from the overall look. So nice clean sections are really important. So make sure Keep that in mind. Plus it looks so pretty. 
I hear that a lot from my guests when I do the spoiling technique. They're like, hey, this is kind of pretty. Is, at least we don't look like big foil blobs while we're processing. <laughs> right? Adds to the comfort of your guests when they're sitting there knowing that their hair looks cool in their foil. Also does a really good job of gaining the attention of other guests in the salon, maybe non hair color guests who are watching the process and thinking, hey, that's something that I might be interested in. And they ask their stylist, is that something that you could do for me? And it benefits everyone. All right. We're back to our two back sections. The last two, so I'm going to transition back into weaving. Five. That one's a little thick. So just drop a little of that. Nice even weave. Down, feather in. And we're crossing, don't forget to cross as you go. Sign of a pro, X as you go, right? Crisscross, make sure we roll those over and get thoroughly thorough saturation and any hair that might be kind of stuck to the foil, you wanna make sure we thoroughly saturate the bottom side of that hair. Last little foil. You see this rich, creamy consistency of this lightener? It's amazingly creamy and really nice to work with. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take these end pieces put them back out of my guest's face for added comfort while she processes. We're gonna let this process at room temperature. I'll check her probably in about 10 minutes, see how well she's lightening up, and then check every few minutes after that to until we get to our desired color. So you can see that it lays very nicely. It's a beautiful foil placement, I think, if I do say so myself. So we're gonna let her process at room temperature and we'll come back when we've got it all rinsed out. Thank you. Okay, so we processed our uh, lightener for about 20 minutes. She came out to this beautiful blonde. I went ahead and took her over to the wash house and I shampooed her with our Paul Mitchell Blonde Platinum Blonde Shampoo, which is a violet shampoo that neutralizes any unwanted uh, yellow pigment. Then I used the uh, Paul Mitchell Olive Blue Wild Ginger Keratin uh, Cream Rinse to uh, condition her hair. I chose this because it has a really low pH and will help close down that cuticle and give her a nice, smooth, shiny finish. Then I prepped her with the uh, Olive Blue Wild Ginger Styling Treatment Oil. Just one pump, I multiply it in my hands and run it through her hair, uh, brush through her. And then we apply the Hydro Mist Glow Up Spray. This is going to help protect her hair and give us a nice, beautiful, smooth blow up. So I'm going to go through with my Paul Mitchell Pro 2 Express Ion Dry Plus. 
Uh, has a nice locking power button. Uh, you can adjust the heat and fan speed. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to utilize my 413 sculpting brush. This is my favorite brush for doing blow dries because it fits nicely in the palm of my hand. It's uh, padded, so it's very comfortable for your guests and has nice little um, balls on the end to help protect their hair and scalp. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow her out and then we'll come back to you with our finished product. Okay, so I completed our blowout um, using my 413 sculpting brush. And afterwards, um, because her hair is virgin and so healthy, she just needed a little encouragement to kind of add a little bend to the end. So I went through with my Paul Mitchell Express Ion Round, size large round brush, um, and just heated it with my blow dryer and rounded it out, let it cool for a moment before dropping it, and that gave us that nice little bend at the ends. I love the uh, Express Ion Round Brushes because they have these awesome corkscrew bristles, which are unique to Paul Mitchell, and they grab the hair, um, maintaining tension without pulling on the hair. So they're fantastic. I chose to use the large size because I wasn't looking to curl her hair. I just wanted to add a little bit of bend to it. Um, so I went ahead and used that. Now that we've got it all blown out, I'm going to apply an extremely small amount of our styling treatment oil. Um, I like to finish off with this often because um, it just helps smooth and seal, especially through the ends. And I'm going to apply it like a lotion so that I don't get a large amount right where I touch it at the very beginning and run it through. I'm not touching at the scalp. I'm grabbing more of the ends, mid shaft to ends of the hair, running it through. I'm gonna wipe on the back side of my hand to make sure I get all of that product off. Again, it's an extremely small pea sized amount. We can take our sculpting brush and just smooth that out. Shape. Gorgeous. I'm going to finish her off with the Paul Mitchell Ex uh, Super Clean Extra Hairspray. This is my favorite finishing spray. It gives a nice firm hold without being crunchy. It um, has a nice clean scent that is not offensive and just helps those little pieces lay down. And there we have it, our beautiful color. Really brightens up around your face. And as you can see, um, because we went gradually larger in our spacing of our foils as we go back, it gives a really natural um, diffusion of it with it being brighter around the face and then a little darker towards the back. It blends nicely into her uncolored hair through the back. Really nice transition. So thank you for joining me for this highlighting tutorial and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.